What is up ladies and genitals, Full Rise in here coming at you, coming through. And today we will be going over the best assault rifles in Season 2 of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Like all of my tier lists or top 5 videos, they are strictly my opinion so feel free to agree and disagree with my list. I will be ranking them from what I think is the worst to best assault rifles in the game while placing them in a tier category and in the very end I will also tell you which assault rifle are my favorites and that I like to use the most. Starting off in our number 7 spot is the FFAR1. I placed this as a B tier weapon. Nothing really has changed with the FAMAS. If you watched my previous video, it was at the bottom and it remains at the bottom. The magazine size is the lowest in the assault rifle class and it has a hard to control recoil pattern. I think the gun would be a lot better if they just reverted the recoil nerf. The gun has the fast fastest fire rate in the assault rifle class with a high bullet velocity and it actually has a really competitive time to kill. Up until this season with the introduction of a certain assault rifle, the FAMAS was actually quite usable. You will need to be good at controlling recoil and the reward for being able to control this gun's recoil is no longer as rewarding. The FAMAS just gets outclassed in terms of time to kill. It's not too far off the fastest time to kill in the assault rifle class but the recoil and low magazine size makes this gun hard to recommend. In our number 6 spot, we have the Krig 6 and I placed this in the B tier as well. The Krig 6 has the second highest effective damage range at 51 meters. So what that means is it keeps its 5 shot kill for that long. It is very rare that you will need 6 shots to kill someone. Now the reason why I placed the Krig so low in the tier list is because it has the slowest time to kill in the entire assault rifle class and that's for close range and long range. That's why it was so confusing to me why a lot of people placed it higher on their tier list but I know why. The gun is just a straight laser beam especially once you put on a field agent grip. This thing is a straight up laser and it does not move and my motto is it doesn't matter how strong a gun is if you can't hit your shots and the Krig 6 is a gun that is just so easy to hit shots with. It's really hard to rank the Krig 6 because its laser recoil carries the gun's slow time to kill. With the GA or banning of the XM4 in professional play, look out since we will probably be seeing more of the Krig 6. In our number 5 spot and I place this in the B tier as well, it is the QBZ. This gun is a hybrid of a SMG and assault rifle. It has the fastest ADS and sprinting speed in its class. It's just a great all around weapon. The only negative about the QBZ is it has the biggest hip fire spread in the class which is the trade off you get for a faster aim down sight speed and it's time to kill is slow compared to the top tier meta assault rifles. I actually prefer the QBZ over the Krig 6 but a large amount of people were complaining and debating me that the Krig 6 was definitely better than the QBZ but I couldn't justify putting the Krig 6 above the QBZ just because it has no recoil. The QBZ has low recoil itself and like the Krig 6, since the XM4 got banned in CDL, I think the QBZ is going to be the go-to assault rifle. This is actually one of my favorite guns to pub stomp and mess around with. In my old top 5 video, I was surprised a lot of people didn't like using the QBZ since I thought it was a really solid weapon. The only thing that really holds this gun back is it's slow to middle of the pack time to kill. Next. In our fourth spot, we have the Groza and I placed this as an A tier assault rifle. The top four assault rifles are actually all banned in professional play. They are GA'd or a gentleman's agreement not to use it. So in normal terms, it just means banned. The Groza is very similar to the FAMAS and QBZ in which the gun is a very solid weapon. It has great stats across the board, but the one thing that holds this gun back is the recoil. Like the FFAR1, the Groza has a recoil pattern that takes effort to control and at the highest levels of play, you don't want to worry about controlling guns recoil. You just want everything to get out of your way, just focusing on aiming instead of adjusting your shot in reaction to a gun's recoil. That is why guns like the Krig 6 are commonly used even though they don't have the fastest time to kill. They are easy to control. Overall, the Groza is a solid weapon. It has a fast time to kill, quick ADS, and a high 
bullet velocity, just know it's going to take some time to master this gun's recoil. In our third spot is the XM4 and I placed this as a S tier, but a lower S tier that is borderline an A tier. It's so sad that this gun got GA'd by the pros. You would see this gun in league play with the AK-74U almost every match. It's still usable in league play, but just know that in CDL, it will not be used. The two guns replacing this will be the QBZ and the Krig 6. The XM4 to me is just so versatile. It doesn't wow or excel in anything, but it's just good at everything. It has a decent time to kill at all ranges and a middle of the pack bullet velocity, but it has laser beam recoil like the Krig 6. However, the XM4 can be used in the flex position where you can push instead of just staying in the back holding angles all game. It actually has a faster time to kill than the Krieg 6 in most scenarios and it has a similar recoil pattern. That's why whenever I would watch a CDL match and saw someone using the Krieg instead of the XM4, I would be disgusted since I think the XM4 is just a much more versatile weapon. The only thing that really holds this gun back in terms of being the best is just the other two guns in the class have a faster raw time to kill. Next in our number two spot is the former number one best assault rifle in Black Ops Cold War which was the AK-47. It just got dethroned. The reason why the AK-47 used to be the best is because it had the fastest time to kill up close and the second fastest time to kill at range. With only the FFAR1 beating it, it had low and controllable recoil with its only weakness being the slowest bullet velocity of any assault rifle. For some reason, it has a slower bullet velocity than the AK-74U, which is a SMG. Obviously, it's still a very good gun. It's actually my favorite assault rifle for pub stomping. It's time to kill up close is actually faster than the Bullfrog and Milano which are both SMGs and in this game Treyarch wanted to really give SMGs an advantage up close and the AK-47 kills faster than both of those guns and it's way more versatile. But the number one gun on this list just has ridiculous stats across the board and it managed to dethrone the Soviet king. Finally, in our number one spot is the new Farah 83 assault rifle. This gun is ridiculous. It's tied with the AK-47 with having the fastest time to kill up close and it actually has the fastest time to kill at range. This gun also dethrones the Krieg 6. The Krieg 6 used to have the highest effective damage range at 51 meters and this gun has a 63 meter 5 shot kill effective damage range which is insane. It also has the highest bullet velocity of any assault rifle at 675 meters per second. This thing has the best stats of any assault rifle in the game. The way Treyarch balanced this gun is by giving it the slowest ADS and sprint out speed which in my opinion is a horrible way of balancing this gun since they also gave it a low and easy to control recoil pattern. Now if they gave the Pharah a recoil pattern like the FFAR1, then yes, it would make sense to give it the stats and time to kill it has, but the gun's weaknesses aren't really a big deal. This gun kills faster than the FFAR1, has a bigger magazine, and it has lower recoil with a higher bullet velocity. This gun totally just replaced the FFAR1. There is no reason of using it and this can be applied to the majority of assault rifles on this list like the QBZ, Krig 6, and Groza. There would be no point of using those weapons over the Farah 83. The Farah 83 is the most overpowered assault rifle in the game and should be balanced with the other ARs or they should buff the other assault rifles like the FFAR1 which terribly needs one. That is it for my tier list. Do you guys agree or disagree? Before I end the video, let me give you the order of my favorite assault rifles to use. At number 1, my favorite assault rifle to use is the AK-47. Next is the Farah 83. Third, we have the XM4. Fourth, the QBZ. Fifth, we have the Krieg 6. Sixth, we have the Groza. And at seventh, we have the FAMAS. Comment below your tier list and what your favorite assault rifle is in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. I will be making a tier list for SMG soon. Other than that, namaste my friends and I will talk to you all next time.